Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webfhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 18 of e-commerce website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully create an edit product page and we also insert a product information inside our input tag. So in this tutorial we create an update script when what happened? Then someone click on this update button and change this all the input fields and if he want to change only one field that he can also change one field and update product so what happened when someone click on this button so where is that uh, button so inside our function.php we have this uh, function edit pro go to down look at here here is the update product button here so we need to change it from here and say up product which means update product so here we need to give the condition like if he said dollar underscore post then what's the name of our button so our button name is update pro okay then paste it from here okay so now why we use post method here just because our database field name uh, our form method is post for that reason we use here a post method okay then we need to uh, create these all variables which is from in this name so what we gonna do we simply just go to the function which uh, we will create it yeah add pro here it is so simply i'm just copy this all variable from here for pro keyword okay so control c come back to bottom and paste it from here okay here all that variable is available okay so look at this pro name which is coming from here here pro name look at here here it is then after cat name then sub cat name so we also create a variable like cat name sub cat name pro image so all the images are uh, all the variables are coming perfectly now we need to write a query here like dollar up pro which means update product equal to dollar con our connection variable name then prepare statement then double quotes then we say update products because our table name is products so here we use a pro uh, table name then set first of all what we gonna do set we say pro name our database field name is here equal to this variable which is coming inside our input field so we simply in single quotes write this here okay then give the one enter okay control z it yeah here is our prepare statement so our first variable is ready to update so dash it oh sorry comma it so let's take a first execute it and check it what happened so we execute inside one condition like if is set dollar underscore oh no 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 if dollar up pro execute then what happened then we put the condition here like echo then we create one script for alert message so we say alert then single quotes then we say like a uh, um, product updated successfully 
okay then also we need to redirect user to directly this page this page okay so we simply copy this link from here and we create one more script like echo then script then we need to window dot open window dot open function then first comma uh, co single quotes then second single quotes in second we say self if you don't understand this then watch my previous videos then you can understand it is very well so here we simply pasted this link so let's try to execute this so refresh it uh, now we need to change this hp laptop because we have two products which uh, name is same so edit it so i say hp laptop then h p 800 okay then i'm click on update button okay look at this now product updated successfully when i click on okay it's coming here okay look at this now it's update all the things just because we don't give any condition here like we need to target that id here so we say where pro or oh not a pro we say where uh, yeah yeah pro id equal to we need to define also id here so the our id is yeah look at here pro id we don't need to define it here we simply write a directly id here uh say dollar pro id okay now yeah man it's too rose thing for me so i simply again remove this update this okay look at here product updated successfully when i click on ok look at this now now it's changed now also we need to change this one so we need to going here hp then update okay look at this now hp so same way we can change all the products name like that so now come back here and give the comma and say what is the second field second field is cat id cat id equal to we have our one variable dollar cat name okay then again we have a second id cat subcat id equal to single single quotes then say dollar subcat name we need to check here we have a subcat name or something else yeah cat id and subcat id so we give the mistake here yeah here is here cat id and here cat subcat id okay now the next one is image so we say pro image one equal to single quotes dollar pro image one okay then copy this one oh not a pro image only pro image one copy this one from here by control c control v control v again control v again because we have four images so first is this this is for second this is also for second this is for third third fourth and fourth okay now we have a pro feature so pro feature one 
oh oops my mistake pro feature one equal to dollar pro feature one okay then comma then copy this one by control c one two three and four just because we have a five feature so this is for first one this is for second this is also for second this is for third this is for third this for fourth this is also for fourth and last one is for five and then after also it's for five now we need to pro price here so we need to declare it here pro price equal to inside single quotes we need to declare this variable pro price paste it from here okay so now we need to pro model number so we say pro model equal to dollar pro model okay then after we need the pro warranty so we say pro warranty equal to single quotes dollar pro warranty okay then after we say pro keyword pro keyword equal to single quotes dollar pro underscore keyword remember one thing guys if you write a variable inside a query then it must be in single quotes it must be in single quote and also define its sign dollar so now the last one is pro no we don't need a update a pro time here okay so all our query is set we say this all things then now we also execute it so let's check here come back here by refresh it okay now let's edit this one okay so i say hp laptop hp 100 okay so it's electronic and it's uh, like computer uh, not a computer here yeah here it is computer so i say computer uh, let's leave it and change this one first one so first one is hp 800 electronics then laptop here is laptop let's change the image it so uh, i have some images in my in my this one drive shopping images then electronics let's say this image okay then second image is for uh, like uh, this this mouse image third one is for pen drive image fourth one is for uh, this speaker image okay so also change it here to 2 gb here uh, like uh, 2 db here 4.0 core i7 third gen which means generation uh, 1 db hard disk okay change the price also here 45000 hpv 8000 3 year to 5 year and also change the keyword yeah let's keyword it same it is so when i click on update so look at this guys this is the message product updated successfully when i click on ok look at this these all images are coming perfectly now again we need to edit look at that the images are edited and all the categories are completed look at this we change it 4 to 2 here to 4 all the things are running perfectly and very good so guys this is about how can we update our products dynamically and so guys i think this is enough for today in next tutorial we are working on delete so how can we delete category existing category so 
we are working on that so i think this is enough for today guys uh, if you guys are uh, like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question then comment below i am 100 percent sure i am giving the answer in 24 hour so guys please uh write your opinion in comment so and one more thing guys do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel so guys uh, stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye